There is a cool library called Embla for implementing Carousel in React with fluid motion and great swipe precision. Let's look at the final project that we are going to build. And this one has autoplay feature. Or we can also swipe as that. So let's see how we are going to implement this one within some minutes. And this library makes our life easier to implement this. If you click on the plugins, it has these features that we can integrate like autoplay, autoscroll, class names, and then auto height. In this project, we are using the autoplay. Let's click on the getting started and here we can install with React or View, Solid and others. So let's click on the React. And here we're going to install these packages as Embler Carousel dash React. And then this is a component for implementing the carousel. And here it gives us some basic styling for our carousel and down here we can install other plugins called autoplay. And this is all what we need to do to implement Carousel in React. So for this one, I have already created fresh React application using Vite. And then this is what you see on the screen. Let's go ahead and then integrate this library into our project. Let's look at the folder structure for this project in the component. I have created one file called Embler Carousel and then the carousel.css, which is this one. Definitely I'll provide this CSS for you. And then in the app, this is where I'm calling the component. So let's look at the steps to implement this one. First of all, we have to install the package, which is Embler Carousel. Copy that and then open your terminal, shut down, and then paste that. All right, and we also need the autoplay feature. So let's go ahead and then install the autoplay feature or plugin as well, and then paste that. All right, we are done with that. So here, this is all what we need. I'm going to copy the entire of this code here, and definitely I'll explain how it's going to work. So in the carousel or Embler component here, I'm going to scaffold or let me even replace with this one. So here we are importing the use Embler carousel from carousel-react and then the autoplay plugin as we did. And here we are calling it as a hook and pass in this configuration like force in case you don't want to have looping and then the plugin called autoplay. And that's all what we need. So with this one, if I save it, let's see what we have. Let's refresh it. Well, unless I run my server as npm run dev and let's try. Well, unless I use the component in the app, which is Embler carousel. And now let's see what we have. All right. We have the slide one, two, and three. As you can see, I can swipe as that. So instead of using this slide one, slide two, this is where we're going to add our own logic to use images. So here I'm going to have a variable called images, which is equal to array of images. And here you can use any images of your choice. If you go to pixabay.com, you can copy any of these images. For example, this one. So right click and then copy image address and then paste it here. Comma for the next one. Let's say I want this. I'll click on that and then copy image address or you can download and host them locally. And let me add one more, for example, this, and then place it here as that. Instead of using this text, we are going to use the images. So here, I'm gonna remove everything from here. That is the slide one, slide two, and then the slide three. 
So here, let's bring in the images and then dot map. And then pass in callback function and I'm going to return the GSX by providing a div as that. So in the callback function, we have access to the SLC, that's the source of the image and then the index. All right, so here, I'm going to pass in a class name called embla-slide and then provide a key, I'm going to use the index. And this is where we're going to call the image tag and provide the SLC by passing in the source of the image as SLC and then class name as embla-image underscore instead and then provide the alt attribute for this one we're gonna use the index so I will say slide and then index plus one to avoid ID with the same value. What has left is that we have to bring in the CSS. So let's require the import dot forward slash carousel dot CSS. Now let's see the changes now and this is what we have. Let's say you want to have the autoplay then change this one to true. Now save it and let's see. Let's wait for the autoplay to kick in. All right, it is working and I can swipe as that. All right, so you can come back here and read more about this documentation to add more features to this application.